NFL Playoff Predictions Part 2. This time, we'll be previewing the NFC. If you haven't seen the AFC Playoff Predictions video, go check it out, leave a like, and subscribe. Thank you. To begin, interesting wildcard matchup between the Seahawks and the Eagles. Fly, birds, fly. Let's go. I've been flying with the Eagles all year, all life. Everyone knows I'm a big Eagles fan, and guess what? It's not biased. I mean, I believe they're going to upset the Seahawks at the link. The Seahawks recently beat the Eagles at the link by eight points, but the Eagles have grown so much since. It's so impressive what they've done with the amount of injuries they have. The Eagles will be playing the Seahawks with similar personnel as when they lost, maybe even less. The Eagles have to hope Zach Ertz and Miles Sanders are cleared to play in this game. We already lost Brandon Brooks, Bro Brandon Brooks to injury last week. I believe the Eagles will win this game. They lost by eight points last time, and they did not play well. Only eight points when they didn't play well. In addition, the Seahawks ran a deep trick play for a long touchdown pass. Take out this trick play right here, and the Eagles perhaps win this game. With injuries to both Chris Carson and Rashad Penny, and a strong Eagles run defense, the, C the Seahawks offense will be heavily one-dimensional and pass heavy. I believe the Eagles will upset with a 24-17 victory. Next wildcard matchup is the Vikings and the Saints. <laughs> Rip Saints fans, you got screwed. 13 and 3, and they're playing on wild card weekend. That's crazy. That's why I believe the NFC is so much stronger than the AFC. Kirk Cousins does not win against teams with a winning record. In addition, I don't believe Kirk is very good. His gameplay is elevated with Dalvin Cook, a top five running back, and then one of the best wide receiver and tight end cores in the league. With that being said, the Saints will win this game. Drew Brees and Michael Thomas is something special to watch. Their tight end, Josh Hill, can truly do it all. And Alvin Kamara balances out the whole offense and keeps defenses on their toes. Saints win, win big at home, 33-17. The first divisional round is Eagles at 49ers. So Deshaun Jackson is supposedly able to return for this game, uh, but he hasn't played in like 10 weeks. Uh, I, don't think he'll be, I don't think he'll contribute that much to this game. Uh, with that being said, the 49ers are just so much more complete of a team right now than the decimated Eagles are. Even with, you know, how the Eagles have been able to pull things together a little bit. <sighs> it pains me to say it. Uh, 49ers win 30-20. to Damn. Next game is the Saints at the Green Bay Packers. This game is very interesting. Two teams that both deserve to have buys playing each other in the divisional round. This game is going to be fun to watch. The Saints have maybe the best offense in the league, and the Packers have a great offense too. I honestly don't think Aaron Rodgers is playing as a, as a, as a high of an elite level that he usually plays at, but obviously he's still playing uh, pretty high, but for him, I don't think he's playing at his peak. That's why I give the Saints a slight edge. Playing at Lambeau Field is not an easy feat, but I believe the Saints offense will be able to move the ball pretty easily against the Packers defense. Saints win 27-17 in Lambeau Field. The conference matchup will be the Saints at the 49ers. Both of these teams are having amazing years. The only things I can say is I believe the 49ers have a slightly better defense, and I believe the Saints have a slight edge on offense because Drew Brees is a much better QB than Jimmy Garoppolo because Jimmy just kind of manages the game with weapons on offense. This game is quite frankly a toss-up for me, but I believe the 49ers will win because they have got to buy and it will be much more well-rested. 49ers 33-27. 49ers punch their ticket to Miami to play against the Chiefs. Thanks for watching. You know, leave a like, subscribe, all that, John, and peace out.